dear students as i have taught uh, teach you earlier projection of straight line now i am uh, doing construction how to draw and lines okay so here i will give one question one in l of a line l and 60 mm this is true length they gave so that line is 20 mm in front of vp and 30 mm above the hp they will give some condition and then the line is inclined at 50 degree to hp and 30 degree to the vp okay so after that what you have to do is draw note the given data as yes, l and 60 mm that is true length they given so mention there as true length because for the confusions or deviations we have to mention here as true length because we have to find the true inclination so after that 20 mm in front of vp note it down 30 mm above hp note it down and then 50 degree to hp 30 degree to vp so after that what you have to do is very simple procedure draw and straight line which is called reference line mark here as x and then y so after that we are projecting here in first quadrant so vp and then mark as hp so now i am what i am doing is very simple procedure first i have to use my given data values here 20 mm in front of vp so i fix the scale here and mark here as 20 mm that is 2 centimeter i draw a straight line so after that i finish i finish this point this one so after that 30 mm above hp so I will mark here as 3 centimeter. I fix the 3 centimeter here and draw a straight line which is 30 mm. So, okay. Here the line is LN. I give capital letter LN. But I, I am projecting here. I will give small letters only. Okay. Here I will give this is top U. So I will uh, mark notation as L here. L dash. So don't forget that. Please mention mark the dimensions also that is very important so mark here as draw the straight line and mark here and then fill the arrowhead which is closed and filled don't draw the arrowhead as open and then mention here dimension as 33 0 okay and then here also 30 in the top view mark the dimension here as 20 ok this is very important we have to do this so after that what we will do very simple we will draw the locus line from here draw the locus line So after that what you have to do is draw a locus line from here. So mention here as locus. Locus of L dash. Here locus of L. So after that what you have to do is very simple procedure. Take your uh, protector and fix to here and then mark the dimension which is 30 degree to vp okay 30 degree to vp so here and 50 degree to hp so here what you have to do fix your protector here and mark 50 degree okay so i mark the 50 degree and draw the line which is 60 mm okay so i fix the scale here and i draw the straight line which my angle is 50 degree okay so after that what i have to do is fix the scale at the end of that line and i have to draw the locus 
this is locus of n dash because line l n the same process which is repeated in the top view also I fix the protector here here 30 degree to VP 30 degree to VP I mark the here as 30 degree and the same 60 mm 60 mm line I have to draw here which is 60 mm, 6 mm the same process which is repeated as mark the dimension here 30 degree and draw the locus here this is locus of n now I have to name here give the notation which is n1 dash okay this is n1 dash and this one is n2 because this is, these points are in top view this is our front view so after that what I have to do is draw a perpendicular line from here draw a perpendicular straight line up to this locus of n okay and here in the top view the repeated process draw the locus of line from here to up to this locus of L1 okay now I will give the notation here this is N2 okay and the line passes through reference line and up to this front view here I will mark as N2 dash here front view that passes through the reference line and pass, uh, passing in top view here N1 so after that the next process is very simple if we come we come to the finishing stage what I have to do is I will mark these two distance measure these two distance L dash and N2 dash I simply cut an arc from here to the arc will passes through the locus line I will start my arc here okay the same process which is repeated in top view also I will mark L and N1 I measured here and I will cut an arc like this okay now I am finding the true inclination this is called rotating line method I measure the line here this distance I measure this distance this is called inclination this inclination true inclination I measured here I convert this distance to the here by compass by cutting an R that cutting process is called rotating line method now I finding true inclination I connect these two points okay so now I finding my true inclination so this is TI that is true inclination this one is TL the same process which is repeated in top view also Here this is n and this is n dash okay so after that what I have to do is I have to draw an end projector by fixing my scale here I will mark here n dash and n and draw and straight line which is to which is must be which is going to be in straight line only so that line is called end projector okay so this is the step now I what I am going to do is I will find the distance to inclination here this is alpha and this one is beta so what I have to do is I have to use my protector and the same process which I fix the protector here here the angle is it passes through the 60 62 okay so here I marked as 
result the alpha angle is 62 degree and then here also beta so the beta angle is for 50 51 beta is 51 degree so after that what I have to do is I have to measure the true inclination distance from L to N the length is 53 L dash N dash 53 and then in the top view L N L N is 39 okay so this is the procedure and these are the method after completing this diagram you have to draw the straight line which is the distance of 1 mm gap in between that what you are going to do is write as all dimensions are in m m because here we did not mention any distance here we put as 30 20 and 53 39 these are all length here we will not give us mm centimeter like that for common we will give write in calculator all all dimensions are in m m okay so this is the step this is the diagram this is uh, this is the procedure and this is the procedure of constructing the projection of straight line.